Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is July Patch Day. As you probably know, the second Tuesday of the month is both Microsoft and Adobe's Patch Day, where they release all their security updates. So let's dive right in and talk about Microsoft's Patch Day. As usual, Microsoft released a ton of patches fixing security vulnerabilities affecting all their Windows operating systems, their web browsers like IE and Edge, and their Office packages. Now, ever since Microsoft changed their Patch Day, it's harder to talk talk about how many bulletins there were, but basically Microsoft fixed tons of vulnerabilities in all these products, including many that could allow for remote code execution. So long story short, if you use any Microsoft operating system, the Office packages, or the browser, you should probably go get these patches as soon as you can. For desktops, I recommend just using Windows' automatic update, but of course for production servers, you probably want to test the patches before you install them. Now I will highlight one of the issues Microsoft fixed. Apparently a security company called Preempt found two zero-day vulnerabilities in Microsoft's NTLM. That stands for Network Land Manager. It's a suite of protocols Microsoft uses for authentication often. And basically, without going into all the technical details, which these researchers describe great in a video, this allows for a man-in-the-middle attack. If someone is on your local network, they can actually leverage these flaws to do things like add a new domain administrator to your Active Directory and then have full control of your network. So these are pretty risky flaws. Now of these two vulnerabilities, Microsoft has fixed one of them, the key one, during this July patch day. However, the one associated with RDP still remains unpatched. I highly recommend you check out their video rather than explain these vulnerabilities myself. They did a great job of describing them, so I'll go ahead and just link to that video instead. Long story short, if you're a Microsoft administrator, go get the patches. Now, Adobe also released their security updates uh, today as well. Really at a high level, they released updates for Adobe Flash and for something called Adobe Connect. Flash is probably the big one. A lot of people still use it. So if you do use Adobe Flash, go patch that as well. Some of these vulnerabilities could allow code execution. Anyways, that's it for July's patch day. Thanks for watching.